Hello, it's Sunday, it's Chloe. Sorry about the background noise, but it is hot as all hell in here and I need the fan because the air conditioning is not keeping up. This week, I picked the theme. I just want to say really, really quickly one thing. You did the right thing this week in shortening the theme. Uh, and just please, I have terrible paraphrasing skills. Just for future reference, if I ever pick a really long and rambling theme, just shorten it. Do the best you can. So the theme this week is feelings on book to movie adaptations, etc. I was sitting in my car and I was complaining to my mom that I couldn't think of a good enough theme. I can't think of a theme! I'm dying! I can't think of one! And if I think of one, it'll be bad! And what if it's bad? And uh... In that exact annoying voice. And she's like, well... Just pick book to movie adaptations. That's like, that's so basic. Why didn't you think of that? I repeatedly banged my head against the dashboard because that was so simple. I kind of have to, uh, to give props to El Madre, wherever she is, I have no idea. Everybody kind of took the thoughts right out of my head. For the most part, I don't usually like the movies as much as I like the books, but very rarely will I go in and be truly disappointed by an adaptation. It doesn't matter how many times people say this, nobody seems to get it through their head. Taking a book and turning it into a movie includes a lot of paraphrasing. The reason that I could never be a screenwriter, as we talked about in the beginning. But for writers, it's a lot easier. You know, we've got a lot more leniency, we've got a lot more room. We can write really long books or we can write really short books. But for screenwriters, they really do have a time limit. But a three hour movie is really, really long by usual standards. So, so they gotta shorten it past that. Well, what if it's an 800 page book? What if it's Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix? What are you gonna do then? I think for the most part, people do the best that they can. I don't mind if they change a few things, if a character dies in the movie who didn't die in the book, if, a, if they cut out a scene that was irrelevant for this particular movie, if they change the color of a character's hair. Dear God, Percy Jackson fans, just don't don't waste your energy. I don't really care about that stuff. Little changes, medium-sized changes, that's okay. But don't change Harry Potter into a narco. It's turning into a rant. Underlying message here, at least for me, is that when I go see a movie that is based off of a book, I want the movie to stand up by itself. I want the movie to be a good movie, not just a good adaptation. Although that's nice too. That's really the second priority for me. When I go see the Harry Potter films, I want this to be a good Harry Potter movie. I'm not expecting absolute carbon copy of the book. I want to go into that theater, I want to sit down, and I want to see what I'm coming to see, and that is a movie. <sighs> Remember how two weeks ago I said I was about to star Magic or Madness by Justine Larvalestier? I'm about 200 pages in right now. I'm ashamed. High school, it, it, it smacked me in the face and my life has been uprooted and it's been a lot of fetal position rocking and screams that resemble the cry of a wounded falcon. Very awful. And, and, and... I don't really get to complain because because I'm homeschooled and, and it is easier, but uh. So, um, because this is kind of a lame video, I thought I would leave like you guys with a kind of interesting comment question. What has been, in your opinion, the best book to movie adaptation? Let me rephrase that. What is a really great, amazing, standalone, fantastic movie that happens to be based off of a book? So, leave it in the comments. Sorry for the lame video. Bye.